What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the House of Da Vinci 3, episode number two. I got some sad news. I totally already had to play this part, but then I looked at the recording and there was no recording, so I had to come back. So I'm a little bit farther than this, but that's okay. We'll still play through it. It's no big deal. So what's going on at this door? So we're going to set that up like that since we, we know what's going on here. The monks must have warned him. Maybe they're even hiding him somewhere. Uh, that's possible. At least he's got the one upstairs. Unless he sprouts wings, he'll be getting down. Had to flee. Meet me at my friend's house. I'm sure you remember me telling you about him. Yeah, I'm so sure, sure you also know how to look at this letter, and you'll get a precise directions on how to get there. Hurry, a friend. Oh, ho, ho. Little letter opener as well. Don't mind if I do. And let's just dip on out of here, shall we? I actually found this really funny the first time. I was like, "Oh, so this was the end of the, this was the end of the area." Uh, that's nice. I'm glad I took glad I took a break between episodes to to not finish that. <laughs> This isn't a walkthrough. Sort of is, but not really. It's like a playthrough walkthrough. The Villa of La Luca Pacioli. Pacioli. This is where it really ramps up compared to obviously the uh, tutorial. The tutorial level super simple. It just teaches you a bunch of stuff. This is where it definitely ramps up some. Spinny, spinny, spinny. We can do this. this. Isn't too difficult. Also, if you played the other games and you remember them, you kind of slightly remember how some of the puzzles end up working. So it's not too bad. To do them. A lot of the times. Easily crush this puzzle. Not even difficult, friends. Now, none of these puzzles were particularly difficult for me the first time through, so... Coming up, there were some ones that I definitely did a little worse on, but... Say it's this one. Oh. Uh, triangle, maybe? Nope. Square, perhaps. A rectangle, perhaps. Ah, uh, rectangle will work. Because we weren't able to walk up the stairs without this fire, you know, it's just just impossible. It's an impossible task to be able to get up these stairs without a fire. They're much too dark. Now this is missing a piece for sure. That actually confused me for a bit because I was like, why isn't the door opening? I was like, it must be locked, there must be a way, but then I couldn't find anything else to do, so I had to go back to the door and <laughs> check it out again and all that. And yeah, it was fun. This house is empty. Leonardo probably probably already left, but I'm sure he must have left me a message. So if we push down on this, we see that that rises up. And we have this item in our inventory. 
Here's Trent. I'm glad you're able to find both this residence and what we came to the scriptorium for. As you surely noticed, this place is deserted. My friend, you know who I'm talking about, and I decided to go to the place where we will all meet. I am sorry about this test, but I need to be sure that whatever, that whoever is reading these words is indeed you. Look around, be perspective, be perceptive, and know that the wind will whisper about the path to the take. A friend. P.S. As always, I wish you good luck and an open mind. <clears throat> Let's do it. And crank. Oh, this is gonna take me a minute. This took me a minute the first time through. Um. I think I got it. I think I got it. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's about how it took me the first time through, too, is, is those puzzles. We know I'm not good at those. We I, I just YOLO attempt puzzles like that until it comes together. I was like, eventually I'll see a pattern, but at the start, I definitely don't. Bump. We have broken a door. Now, I actually can look at this right here. Which evaded me for a long time the first time. I can steal this piece. You can also look here, and I have no idea what this is about. I'm assuming I'm supposed to stick something there, but I don't I don't know what. I haven't got a clue. Now I'll tell you what evaded me for the longest time is this. Up the twos, the ones, and the threes. Oh, a letter. Dragons have always been fascin fascinated me. Creatures of myths, legends, and fairy tales that instill fear into the hearts of grown men. In my drawings, I always depict them based on anatomical models of existing animals. The human imagination is powerful, but it is nothing compared to the reality of nature. I can can't portray pride, guile, or cruelty better than through the eyes of a feline. I can't imagine stronger armor than the scales of a great lizard. But there is one characteristic of dragons for which I cannot find inspiration in nature, and that is their ability to breathe fire. And that is what I was thinking about when I designed the new lighting for the, uh, for the access road to Luca's mansion. Although with the metal body of the dragon's head, I set about repairing the bell tower. The clapper of the bell was nowhere to be found, so I asked Luca to have a new one made. I designed the top of it with a six-sided cross section so that it could be mounted on a fixed axis like the one I used for the wine cart. For example, if we decide to mechanize the bell in the future, I'd hate to change it again. <clears throat> okay, well, we know where a cart can go. Spinny, spinny, spinny. I'm sure these pieces go together, and they do. Now we have a lever. A lever, you say? Lever go here? turns and opens up that we're making progress here for sure for sure give me oh, sorry now give me a key well we've seen a spot with a shape like that So the thing about this puzzle, it had me really confused. I was like, what the heck am I supposed to do? So, you're supposed to make the lines. I figured it out. It was a rough one, though. Dang, was that not it? Aw, oh, dang it. 
don't think it's Uh-oh. <laughs> well, I had it before, I thought. Wait a minute. How do you make this line? Oh dear. <laughs> We've run into a problem, my friends. No, no, don't, don't help me yet. I figured this out on my own last time. There we go. They do, not, they do not give me any help. I'll figure it out, dang it. Insert. Give me the bell. E for the bell. And this looks like a little wind up, and of course you we, we know what can be wound up. Little things. Fire. What, what do you got for me? You guys haven't seen this yet, but that is on the side right here. And I'll let you know when we get to the spot where I haven't done. Which is coming up pretty quickly. Which is unfor which is kind of fortunate, I guess. That means you guys get a better episode, maybe, if I can figure it out. Stick that in there. Crank it up. And it loads it with, like, bolts. See? But here's where I come... to be confused. I don't know where this goes. <laughs> At all. Unless it was up here. No, I don't believe it's up here. I don't want the hint yet. Like, I doubt it goes here. Yeah, it does not. It definitely doesn't go up here. Hmm. You can move this around again. But there's nothing more on it. You just set up more pictures, basically. Trying to see if maybe... There was one that would give us a hint. But no, it doesn't appear to be the case. Hmm. Let's go out here. <clears throat> oh my god, you can go this way. <laughs> I had no idea you could go this way this whole time. Uh, well, that's something I found out. Okay, so it looks like we're going to have to run the cart all the way over here at some point, and it's going to open it up. Oh, 
not what I wanted to do. Hoping to be able to look at that, but I cannot. This is missing a piece very obviously. This is supposed to snatch something. I doubt this is where that goes. It's not. Hmm. Don't know where this piece goes. And I thought maybe it would insert here, but it doesn't appear like it. Hmm. You think it'd be simple. Can I take my lever back? No. Under the desk, maybe. No. Can't open that drawer, it would appear. This is where we snagged that piece at. All right, what you got for me? Same with the wall around the Belfry model on the table is the in the workshop is not aligned with the rest. Oh my lord. Oh, I found this before, never mind. But I think I know where it goes now. I think I think I know where this goes now. I didn't know where it go, goes la where it goes where it went last time because I didn't realize that you could go this way. I think it goes right here. Aha. Hello there. Lion statue, huh? Okay, I bet I know where you go. Progress. I've not done this yet. This is completely new. Lion. Insert. Twisty? Twisty. Keep twisting. Beautiful. Okay. Awesome. What do you got for me here? Hello, Luca. Last time you asked me why I didn't create something more interesting than my ever-present mazes, so I thought I'd make you happy. What you see before you is a weapon I fashioned after Master Giante's crossbow with my repeatable mechanism added. It's rapid fire, yet penetrating and accurate. I set up some targets in our yard. You'll find bolts in the study downstairs. I did. I did find bolts in the study downstairs. Assume there's going to be something to drop there later. I don't have a crossbow currently. Unless I missed picking it up. It's blocked. Now is the mechanism blocked? I feel like that's a target. But where's my crossbow? There's the bell. Is it above it? Did I miss it entirely because it was standing above it? No. Okay. Well, we have this now. Which might go to something out here. Like, I don't think it's that. Not to any of that. Okay. Can I look at the gate and see if I can grab whatever's in the way now, or... No, because it's things too far away, that's right.
And this obviously doesn't go here. So what do you go to? Hmm. Give it to me. And the present perhaps. Oh my god. I didn't even think about clicking it. I wouldn't have thought about clicking it for. The one thing I hate the most about the game right there. Is I want to go that way. But I can't turn my camera that way. See. So I have to wait for it to stop. And then I have to click back. Was there supposed to be a crossbow here? I see. Take me to the past. Okay. Fire. Oh, my bad. Um, okay, how does one wind a crossbow? Am I missing a piece or something? Oh. Crossbow is wound. Um. Break all those. Interesting. I wonder what the dial is for there. Well, that's not a pathway up any longer. Oh, okay, you're in my way. So there's that tree. I was like, you just look like something I'm supposed to shoot. I think I'm supposed to shoot it more than once. I think it's three t Oops. I think it's three times. Because now that lines up with where that thing was. Okay. Well, we're not done in the past yet, obviously. I can't spin it that far. I see that. I don't want to shoot at it yet. I, I might shoot at it in a moment. I just don't want to shoot at it yet. Missing a piece, it seems. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Okay. Well, I can shoot that. What else does it want me to shoot? Oh, the rope on the bell, huh? Gotcha. Now, how do I get down? I'm out of bolts, so it's going to let me go back. Cool.
We need to go reload it. Might need to go reload it. Oh no, it's gone. I can't reload it. Of course I can't. Um. Well, I got this. Oh, wait a minute. Take me back. No. They take me back. Still up there. Still up there. Yeah, I don't mind using hints at all. In my in my opinion, they're there. They're there for a reason. You know, some people don't have the ability to just solve the whole thing. I gotta keep an eye on those symbols on that thing, man. There we go. The first thing one notices at the center of the Luca's entire state is an old mill, but long years of use and equally long years of inaction have taken their toll on it. If we're going to use it for an irrigation, we must make the necessary repairs first, but I have never believed mere repairs would be enough. One of the reasons the mill is in such a bad shape is that the veins rotated at different angles, destabilizing the whole mechanism. Determined to prevent this in the future, I linked the rotation of the veins with gears. However, after adjusting the mechanism, rotating the tilt of the veins proved to be a very demanding activity. So I added modern controls, a new and stronger metal axis with proper handle that allows you to use your whole body to move it. Once I finish the Archimedes screw in the workshop annex, I can place it on the well and the irrigation system will be ready. Beautiful. Seems there's supposed to be some kind of counterweight on the rope behind the cage. Maybe something would happen if I found it and put it back. Yeah, you don't say. You don't say. I think I gotta break those pots somehow, man. Huh. I see you. There's a pot there that I feel like I should have to break. Because there's two pots blocking the thing, and I blocked most of the pots, but not those. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Yes, I agree, but... Wait a minute. Okay. I tried previously to get this to turn that much. And <laughs> it wouldn't, but whatever. That's fine. We'll finish this part and we'll call it good. Must have wasted a shot or two, unfortunately. That's okay. We can reload it. Hopefully. Crank, 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 crank. Good thing you have so many bolts in there, man. Wait for it to stop. There you go. Now click back. Otherwise, if you don't wait for it to stop, it gets all angry and sends you back into the room. And you don't want to go back into the room because the room's terrible. Crank it. Move you over this way and fire. Now I imagine that's all of them. Maybe, although usually when you complete stuff in the past, it lets you perfect. It, uh, takes you back to the present. Usually. 
So I'm feeling like we might have to go back to the past again for some reason. But there is what we want. But that's going to do for this episode, guys. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. If you've got anything to say, go to the comments below. And if you haven't yet, hit that subscription button and the bell. If you want to see more, check out this video down here. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.